Jarrell, you know your girlfriend is a total bitch, right? Irina is not my girlfriend. She called me a see you next Tuesday. So, she was just making plans with you. Wait, see you and oh, uh, wow. Honestly, if the two of you weren't together, I probably would have kicked her ass. How serious are you about her anyway? Are you going to put a ring on it? No. Hey, is there something in the distance over there? Wait, is that Strahd? Oh, fuck. Hello. You all seem to have gotten much stronger since we last met. And Irene is not here, so you must have gotten smarter as well. Oh, look, it's Lord Dipshit in all his glory. But not that much smarter. You never learn, Cinder. Do you want me to make you take another nap? Actually, a nap would be great. I've been having a hard time sleeping lately with all the noise Gerald and Irina keep making at night. What? Oh, Gerald and Irina? Yeah, they're fucking. She's all about that gnome dick. And then Strahd attacked Cinder with a fireball, destroying our cart and our horse. Trying to make the vampire mad might not have been the best idea on my part. But it was fun. Oh god, oh man, I'm so sorry, I'm so fucking sorry, oh god, I'm sorry! She better be lying! Ah! And then Strahd turned invisible and ran away. Like a bitch. Oh shit, we need a new cart and horse. Uh, anyone going to eat that? I'm putting it in the portable hole. Uh, are you going to be okay after Strahd bit you? You're not going to turn into a vampire, right? No, he's good. I checked him out, and it's just to wound him, not infect him. But, like, would being a vampire even be that bad? Sure, it has some downsides, but it's mostly positive. If you turn into a vampire, I won't hesitate to kill you. Hey, even if Geralt turned into a vampire, as long as he was still siding with us against Strahd, then I won't let you hurt him. If you get in my way, I'll just kill you too. You're a tiefling. It'd be easy. Wow, you're a dick. We walk the rest of the way to the tower and see a beautiful cart sitting out front. Oh, we could use that. Geralt picks the lock and Garen opens the door. And then the cart freaking explodes, leaving behind the charred remains of what could have been some very useful items. What the fuck? Why would anyone set up a trap like that? Sure, you could kill whoever tried to steal from you, but all your stuff would be destroyed. Well, let's face it, Barovia is full of idiots. It's like no one can do anything themselves around here, and we need to solve all their problems for them. Garen opens the door to the tower, with the rest of us standing at least 30 feet away in case of another explosion, and we explore the place. Sir Nudos ends up finding a cool sword that can shapeshift into any weapon. We also end up finding a journal that reveals Strahd's past. He was in love with his brother Sergei's fiancée, Tatiana, and killed Sergei out of jealousy. Tatiana would rather die than be with Strahd. So now he attempts to romance her reincarnations, the latest being Irina. Well, that was a nice exposition dump, but otherwise completely useless. Let's go, gang. We fight some werewolves that gathered outside the tower, no big deal, by the way, and we head back to Valky, stopping by the winery on the way there. Erwin's father is in charge of the winery, and he tells us that shipments are late because it's been taken over by druids, and a fucking course it has, we need to fix everything around here. Look, I've spent a lot of time among druids. I'll go talk to them. I understand their culture. Excuse me, what seems to be the problem here? You know our language. You may speak to our leader. The rest of us are left outside. Hello, is there a reason you have taken over this winery? They take from the land. They take from nature. Yes, but with all due respect, they do that for survival. We take food and use wood for building and keeping warm, and the people at the winery take good care of their vineyards before they harvest. They do so for the sake of their intoxication. 
They're filthy! While this conversation goes in circles, the rest of us decide, screw this, and have Garen break down the door because he's good at that. During our fight with the druids, Jeral accidentally starts a fire, and it very quickly spreads to the wooden racks holding up the barrels of wine. If those catch on fire, then the entire winery will burst into flames. And like, sure, that would solve the druid problem, but also create an even worse problem in the process, so we really need to put that fire out. Cinder just hands Misha her water skin, like, hey, use this to put it out, and then runs. Just bails on this crap. What little water we had did nothing to put out the fire. So Misha starts chasing after the fleeing druids, while Garen and Serenunos focus on getting the hell out of the burning building, because he's on the second floor, and it's getting hard to breathe, so let's jump out that window. Haim is trying to kick up dirt to dull the flames, but it's not enough. Then, when all seems lost, Geralt remembers that there's a well outside. He runs to the well and puts his portable hole in it, using it to take as much water as he can before he runs back to the winery and slams the hole against the wall, letting the water flood the room and put out the fire. But in the process, he also lets out everything that was in the hole. So the ravens, who worked at the winery, walk into the building that, while now free of druids, is also soaking wet, very obviously charred, and has a dead horse in the middle of the room. Also, we may have stolen some of their stuff, too, while we were at it. So, uh, you're welcome. Beggars can't be choosers. So about a reward for this, no. Fair enough. Fair enough. They tell us about how three magic seeds that they use to make special wine has been stolen, and they know where at least one of them is. So we head off to get that seed, figuring we should at least get one for them before we head home. While walking through the woods, we find a giant statue of Strahd made out of sticks and vines. Holy shit, is this Burning Man? I don't think so. Well, it is now! After the statue is set on fire, a bunch of druids pop out and start attacking us. We kill them, and Haim notices something shiny on the chest of the statue. So he flies up and finds that it's the seed. While looking through the druids' remains, Geralt finds a magic ring that once he attunes to it, We'll be able to track wherever the ring is or whoever is wearing it so long as they don't attune to it themselves. Hey, you should give that to Irina so that we can find her if she is ever kidnapped. That's a good idea. I guess he is putting a ring on it. No! We return to the winery with the seed and decide we'll come back later with a cart to pick up the wine since we couldn't carry it all back on foot. Wait. Why didn't we just use the portable hole? That would have been so much easier! Why didn't we think of that?